Hey everyone, Sky here. Been uh, going through some ideas, trying to find out different ways to preserve foods, different ways to make food last longer. Um, so, I figured throw up a video of here's something that I've been working on and something that seems to have worked pretty well. Been trying to find a way to actually freeze the beloved cucumber. Looked up online, tried to find ways to do it. Everyone said that it was not doable, mainly because the cucumber is mostly water, and water will freeze, obviously, which will take the cucumber and pretty much destroy it. Um, that's just unacceptable to me. There's got to be a way to actually freeze the cucumber and actually uh, have it last in my freezer for quite some time. So. I uh, went did a little research on cucumbers and I think I might have found the way to actually take these, freeze them, and pull them out whenever and actually have them still be usable. With all that being said, I'm going to show you my process of how I'm doing this. Then I'm also going to pull out one that I've had in the freezer for about the last two, three weeks and uh, take a little taste test and show you guys that it is actually still edible. Alright, first step that I didn't show uh, is I pretty much just went took all the skin off. Washed it, all that goody goody jazzy stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife, we're going to go and we're going to cut right down the center. Then we're going to take these centers or these halves rather, turn, in, turn them into quarters. Now, what I've learned from reading, make sure I can get this in frame here, is all the seeds and all the green that you see on the inside, that is where all the uh, water storage actually comes from. What we're going to end up doing is taking pretty much all the seeds, all the greenness, and we're just going to trim that out. Even after I get a layer down, still quite a bit left. So we're just going to keep on going. Until all that greenness is pretty much off. Sometimes it can just be a really small amount, a little bit of pressure on the blade. And there you have it. Got, got all the seedings out. And uh, this one here is pretty much the way that I've done them in the past. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to take one that I just got out of the freezer uh, a little bit ago and uh, give you guys a taste test. Another thing I want to add here is, uh, excuse me, is when you're actually doing your cutting, after you do your initial cut, when you're trimming down a little bit more, not sure how well you can see this, but in the little pockets where the seeds were at one time, if you can see your knife blade through those, that means that you're keeping a pretty good distance as to where you want to end up being. And we'll just go ahead and move that on over. And as we, as you can see, got a lot of it up. Show you on another one here. Now doing this on camera is pretty interesting. So.
talked to one of my cousin-in-laws about this, and he said it's like pretty much skinning an animal, which I've never done before, so I guess I'll have to take his word on that. And, yeah, take a little bit more off here. I am not going that deep with the knife. And there we go. Another piece down. Okay, now time for the testing station. Here we have our uh, frozen, defrosted, beloved cucumber. The only downside that I've noticed is it loses its rigidity. However, when we go to taste, still tastes like a cucumber after two weeks. It still has the same texture, same flavoring. It just lost its get up and go, I guess you could say, for lack of better words. So, mm. so what can be used for? Salad still. Uh, anything really. So, give it a shot. Um, if you decide to try it, and if it doesn't work, sorry. Um, but so far it's worked great for me. It's only been two weeks. So I'm going to keep you guys up to speed on how it's actually working out for me. Uh, after two weeks, things have worked great. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, take care. Have a great night, and we'll see you in another video.